Eternals came out like two months ago, right? Every okay. one of my favorite, most watched YouTubers went off about how crappy it was. Um, it wasn't crappy. Most of these YouTubers are very hyper aware of anything at all approaching wokeness because I think they get a lot of views and that's kind of like their theme. You know, so if there's any oh, yeah. girl that like beats up a guy, even if she has superpowers and it's completely explicable, they'll start ranting about, oh my God, she's fighting the patriarchy or whatever. But <laughs> I, 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 seriously, I watch a lot of channels. There are a lot of YouTube channels out there that are very good that talk about why Star Wars sucks, why the CW has gone downhill, just why friggin' everything sucks nowadays because Critical of the- Critical drinker, right? Yeah, him too. The rampant tide of wokeism. I don't think he was very complimentary about the Eternals. So I went in with like the most rock bottom things. It, it was a good fucking movie. I liked it. it. It had absolutely nothing that pissed me off. There was not a moment where I said, oh, that couldn't happen. I didn't do any eye rolling. It was better than Black Widow. It was better than the Ant-Man shit. It was better than uh, Shang-Chi, which was kind of a movie I just could not give a fuck about. It was Okay, I, I have a comment here. Yes. Um, there's a lot of like hate that gets heaped on Black Widow. I really like that movie, man. What the hell? I didn't hate it. I just it, I, I I could barely be asked. Wouldn't ha it have been better coming out a few years before when they were in the building up all the character stage? It kind of came out as kind of like an afterthought. Like, okay, yes. I guess we'll give you a movie. No one is in disagreement about that. They did blow that. Right. But that being said, it was still an excellent action movie. It was a lot of fun. I had a good time watching it. I had a good few, characters. I had a few eye roll moments, like when they killed every single human being in the prison. All the Russian prisoners just died in the big avalanche and the explosion. And they <laughs> really didn't even think twice about it. That was a little out of character. You know what I liked? And this is a common answer because everybody likes her is Yelena below. She's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, she was the best part of it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, she was awesome. And I'm glad she's back in Hawkeye and all that. I mean, I mean, it was awesome. Wouldn't I it? Her. Guys, I, want to, I, I want to Google this. Who's Blogovich? Blogovich? Yeah, the, the the one you're talking about. Who is that? Who is that? Oh, Yelena Belova. That's uh, the oh, actress. Okay. Did you see Black Widow, Mike? No, I have not. Oh, okay. Oh, she's awesome. Did you yeah, see uh, Hawkeye? Mike, did you see Hawkeye? Uh, no. No. Um, no, she's the I blonde have, girl have, that was uh, in uh, Midsummer, and she's been in a lot of stuff. And she's oh, that girl, yeah, right, like blonde okay. girl. Yeah, she was in Black Widow, and she like completely stole the fucking show, playing kind of like the replacement Black Widow. She came in and just tore it up. And then in Hawkeye too, she was the best part of Hawkeye. She's just really, I think I think her thing is is everybody really likes her. Like literally, well, she was likes she her. was the second best part of Haw Hawkeye after Vincent D'Onofrio. <laughs> you really came in your pants when the Kingpin showed up, didn't you? Totally, totally. <laughs> is it because of him and his portrayal or because of what it means for the Marvel Universe? Both. Or is it just because it's D'Onofrio? A little bit of both. Ever since Adventures in Babysitting, when Rob saw Thor on the big screen. Oh, my God, right? <laughs> it was all about D'Onofrio. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> now, Vincent D'Onofrio, though, he's the, uh, he's the best bad guy they've ever had in any Marvel property, period. And just to have him back was just so amazing and that you know implies the entire like netflix verse is going to be fused in which is the best shit they've ever done for marvel because now iron fist can finally make his rightful ascension to the <laughs> yeah yeah that's exactly what i'm waiting for <laughs> <laughs> yeah man eternals was a good movie my, o my only shit. complaint was it, ne it needed more salma hayek it did not have nearly enough salma hayek in it just, uh, just from watching previews and stuff, I got a very strong like Justice League before the recut kind of feel to it. That they were just going to try to rush twelve characters together without putting in the work. Um, I mean, okay, the thing about Justice League in that way is that though every single character that they put up on screen for that movie need you needed their backstory. They were big characters. They have big stories. Everybody knows who they are. They've been presented in all these all these different mediums and appearances. The Eternals, no one gives a fuck about. Nobody knows their names. Nobody. Uh, there's a few people that might have been fans of the original comics, and I will say I I'm not. I kind of knew a little bit, but not that much. And I will say the artwork of the original comics was such a horrifying fucking turnoff that I couldn't really get into it. So the Eternals did not have the expectation it did not have like the fan furor that justice league had so it didn't really suffer from that at all i, I didn't think i was gonna say it's it's i guess it was kind of worth a shot for him to try 
uh, because it worked out well with Guardians of the Galaxy. Let's take an unknown, you know, gang and throw them in there and see if it makes a good movie. But it, it lacked a certain James Gunness. That's true. But if you hold that metric stick up to every movie, a lot of movies are going to start looking really shitty. 